Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. I'm very sorry for my voice today, I've been sick and uh, my voice is uh, very bad. But of course I will not let you out in the dark, so we will make the weekly overview and the trade ideas for the upcoming week. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe, yeah? See you over there. So welcome back guys, um, a little bit of a news event that you really need to keep an eye at uh, for next week and uh, we start with uh, manufacturing PMI from China and manufacturing PMI uh, from the US on Monday, both going to be very important, the Chinese manufacturing PMI going to be very important for the Aussie as well, we follow Tuesday by um, cash rate and RBA rate statement uh, for the Aussie, uh, the market ex expecting a cut. So the question is, are we going to get a um, hawkish uh, cut or a dovish cut, which mean more cuts to follow after that? I think the market is uh, pricing in a cut, of course, but uh, could the market also priced in a more cut after that? And that is what we need to know for um, uh, for uh, for the Aussie. Uh, Wednesday from uh, Australia as well, we have the GDP quarter and quarter, non-manufacturing PMI from the US. And um, on uh, Thursday, as you see, we have some speech from uh, Carney, Kuroda, uh, monetary policy statement for the Euro and the press conference, which is going to be very, very important. And everyone going to be looking at that to see the language for the ECB. And on Friday, of course, the NFP from the US and employment change and unemployment rate for the CAT. So it's going to be very important week uh, as a news event week packed with major events and it may get very bumpy. So uh, let's hit the charts. So we go to the Dixie as um, uh, we used to do. Uh, many of you have been asking about the Dixie, so I added that. Uh, that will make the video a little bit longer. But as you see the Dixie, we had a try, uh, three attempts here to break higher and we failed. Um, and uh, last week we could not make a new high. We've got a very uh, strong uh, bearish candle on Friday. Um, after those uh, Trump tweets uh, about the trade war now with Mexico as well and uh, the trade war with China is not doing so well uh, as well so uh, that's why we have uh, this very strong bearish candle and uh, as you see uh, lots of weakness and the, the fail of a new high make me start thinking we may keep pushing lower on the dollar here from this level. Um, for our time frame, you see it clearly here, the uh, dark cloud cover followed by break here. We traded uh, based on that uh, in my trading room. We were looking at this uh, head and shoulder scenario on the one hour and I've been saying to the guys, wait for the break, wait for the retest and the continuation. And we got that very much 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 more than we expected so a great dip to the downside on the dollar so um, where are we right now so as you see uh, now we, we uh, may start uh, having some correction here at, the, at these areas I'm expecting uh, the dollar to start making some correction if that is the case going slowly to the upside there is one more move toward uh, this level which is the uh, more uh, level of support below that we have the next major level and that is where we're gonna meet the um, major trend line yes so we have this major trend line still uh, deciding the main direction of this market which is uh, still uh, bullish uh, on this uh, if we're gonna take this channel so we're still inside this channel on the dollar and uh, yeah a break below this here could signal another leg to the downside and down here there is the level that you should really be watching because this is gonna be key level of uh, support uh, remember one thing guys these monthly uh, pivots on all chart are not updated yet 
uh, I don't have the new monthly pivot yet until the market open I will change that next week but as for now they are from the uh, previous months um, again guys um, expect some correction to the upside uh, nothing new will happen on the dollar until we break this uh, previous highs yeah uh, I'm expecting uh, some more uh, downside uh, uh, oil we mentioned oil last week and I told you to uh, look for uh, some kind of black he flag here and continuation to the downside we were talking about the importance of this level so uh, correction up and downside and we've got that also a very strong dip to the downside if we look on the daily we broke below the yearly pivot point of 2019 we broke below the 55 uh, possible support level because this area been a very good support and resistance and there is not much now until we reach net next area which is the um, the 618 uh, correction of this whole push to the upside and uh, down here is a key level where we have uh, this previous uh, resistance and many supports down here so uh, that is uh, the possible market objective for the next leg to the downside to keep an eye at uh, around the uh, 51 area is a key level and um, this is still bearish so we keep looking for correction and continuation it did move a lot last last week so we should wait for a, a correction to start happening here um, it won't be an easy one it may get very complex correction before it moves uh, for the last leg to the downside as well so uh, bearish look for a retest of broken structures uh, the the main area I would say up here if we get a correction toward this level that is the level we're gonna be playing we want to look for something like this or something like this to happen once again uh, uh, on oil uh, gold again I told you also guys look for a correction here or some kind of flag after this impulse to look for a flag and continuation you got this nice flag here and a amazing break to the upside so the flag here got broken we broke above previous high we broke also above this high and the market objective is uh, surely now the uh, 1310 area up here uh, again this moved much so um, be easy on that for uh, in the early next week let it go let it do some correction it's gonna need to make some correction before the next move so again wait for uh, the price to uh, give you those corrections uh, once again and look for a possible continuation here um, a good um, thing to do it would be to draw a fibonacci retracement here on this leg if this to be our last high uh, to then look for uh, a retest of this neckline that would be great if that happened uh, where we also have the 618 to then look for uh, the next bounce to the upside yeah this is uh, very very possible we've seen that in the past we've seen uh, gold on the way down how far it corrects before it moves uh, lower again here we had another impulse corrected much also before it gave you the next leg so um, very very possible that you see um, deeper correction before the continuation both gold and uh, dollar need to correct so um, wait for either a deeper correction towards 618 or uh, some kind of flag as we had down here uh, euro usd also on this one we've been uh, mentioning the um, uh, the uh, retest or um, or uh, the deeper retest so last week i told you uh, look for first at this level if it act as possible support there is a possibility of continuation from here or look for some kind of flag and um, that if we break here to look for flag and another push lower but to then try to buy down here yeah so as for now we've got the second scenario which was a break and a bounce uh, this market still bearish market and uh, for more upside I wanted I want to see it breaking this uh, key level to then look for the continuation otherwise same scenario here uh, the bottom here is still the support area and there will be only buying scenarios from this level unless you see a strong break below it to then look for more downside yeah every time we test this level 
we should be looking to buy it unless we see it broken strongly to the downside then we start uh, selling yeah it's very low here it is oversold and we should be, be looking to buy uh, this area and if of course if we get the break to the upside then there is more continuation after that to happen um, US, uh, sterling usd uh, the main scenario in the previous weekly overview was to look for a dip back down here to then try to buy uh, we've got the dip lower uh, and we've got a very short term bounce which uh, is a uh, four hour bullish engulfing at this level here the 1.2600 even handed number is a, an important level so keep an eye on this this chart is still um, very bearish on the daily as you see but as for now we've got a, a bullish engulfing on the daily as well we have uh, um, a little bit of a bullish divergence on the RSI uh, the fundamental are not looking good for the sterling but it is a key technical level and it may get defended once again I keep showing you this level uh, how important it is uh, after this uh, spike to the downside could be some stop loss hunt here before uh, the real move happening and we uh, in my trading room we entered uh, long here yeah, I got stopped out on this dip to the downside to then enter again at uh, the at this uh, inverted head and shoulder here so we broke that on the retest I uh, took the long and here we are right now yeah looking for uh, the continuation to happen so I'm interesting to buy here but still it is not ready this could uh, keep pushing lower uh, to the downside as well we did not break any major levels yet um, on the one hour absolutely none we could uh, move all the way here and then push lower once again but as far as this holding as support we still we should keep trying to looking for uh, buys here uh, usd jappy also we mentioned that this market um, may correct uh, to uh, sorry may keep pushing to the downside on the daily and um, uh, last week i told you we had this impulse we have this uh, correction and we uh, may be uh, looking for the next leg to the downside now yeah so uh, we've got that move uh, after uh, some uh, important move before that so if we go to the four hour here we see that um, we've got uh, this here a push lower a consolidation here we went out bull trap and then it was over yeah i sent this also on uh, facebook and showed you um, how we traded it was a clear bull trap here um, before the real move happened now uh, where we are at right now is also another key level the 108 area it's been a major range from a very long time since um, uh, April uh, 17 we tested this area we tested this here we broke below it tested here and then all this happening at this level so we, we reached a key support level and we should expect at least a correction after such a very strong push to the downside we start looking here for some kind of correction and a retest on the daily time frame to that broken level for more downside to happen but early next week let it be let it do some correction on the weekly time frame this is start looking very scary for the bulls guys we are rotating down nicely around the 200 moving average uh, on the weekly time frame as you see uh, the 200 uh, moving average start uh, pointing to the downside and if this level here goes off on the weekly time frame we are going all the way toward uh, 105 as well but uh, it won't be easy it won't be fast it's gonna make some correction and it's gonna play around for a while so um, be careful uh, wait for these correction wait for the manipulations to happen in any case uh, any retest toward this level you start looking for a possible uh, sell signals on this one um, usd chief also we mentioned um, last week to look for uh, after we were down here and I said look for some kind of flag and continuation 
uh, we've got a, a nice flag or a nice correction but a deeper one this was the killer we could not make a new high and then we broke uh, the channel to keep pushing lower so uh, the objective is almost done on this one here is to reach these lows and i think there is more to it if we look on the daily time frame we have a break below this level now and uh, i think um, a continuation is possible targeting these lows down here the 200 moving average may give us some trouble on the way but um, as it happened here yeah but uh, it is not a must it was respected here but here it was not respected at all uh, so a continuation here is possible but again uh, we gonna keep an eye on this level for a possible another correction up before the next leg to the downside so sell rallies even on uh, uh, on this uh, market as well now usdcad is the one that um, i mentioned uh, to you guys that uh, we are still in this range and i was expecting uh, a possibly one more leg to the downside but uh, we didn't get that we held support here on the double bottom we break above another retest another break above and now we going back again i think this time if we break back inside this range we are going for uh, the whole run back down to the bottom of this range based on uh, this uh, bearish divergence based on uh, the dollar weakness that we have right now there is that possibility to the downside so i'm only interesting uh, in cells here and you know why because i mentioned that also i want to see something like this happening again we have the correction and the next leg to the downside so i'm just interesting in selling this market and uh, waiting for signal here any break below this structure that will signal the continuation to me uh, on uh, the usd cap aussie usd we um, we talked about the uh, cup and handle uh, scenario here on this market that is uh, a possibility so uh, last week uh, i've been mentioning this nice rounded bottom and i said we should wait for uh, some kind of handle and continuation yeah so we're still there right now we have the cup we have this possible handle we want to see a break a strong break above this to then look for the continuation at least to this area up here yeah so keep an eye on that there is also another possibility that we keep uh, holding this range until the rba rate statement and then maybe the break to the upside but i'm interesting to buy this market uh, and only buys unless we uh, break below this low yeah if that is the case then of course that will change my bias but as for now i think this is a nice bounce as far as this holding i'm looking for the next leg to the upside so by the dips by the corrections on um, aussie usd as well uh, new zealand usd uh, almost same uh, case here uh, i mentioned to you guys to look for uh, to buy any dip toward this level yeah from uh, this area last week and that is still the uh, whoops uh, that is still the same case as far as this holding as support we should looking to buy any break above this neckline that will signal the possible continuation yeah so a strong break above this could signal the possible continuation unless we see a break of this level here then there is one more leg to the downside as for now uh, i'm just interested in buying this market after such a long move to the downside I don't want to sell it so buy setups uh, for me on this one uh, only yeah um, and uh, yeah New Zealand CAD um, same here we are rotating nicely to the upside very strong push here wait out for this correction to end any break above this look for retest and continuation even here on this one I'm looking uh, for buys and buys uh, only um, and that is based on this nice structure that we're using as support we had our first higher low now and waiting for the break and the continuation to the upside on this market as well so uh, yeah that was it for today guys thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye